Dietitian UK. Today we're going to be making some gluten-free wheat-free scones. So the first thing I've done is I've measured out some rice flour. So we have got 10 ounces of rice flour here. Can you put this one in the bowl for me? That's it. So we're going to put that in our bowl. Brilliant. And then I've got two ounces of fine polenta or cornmeal, which Kelly is going to put in for me. There we go. And then use a big spoon and give it a stir. So these scones I find really I easy to make around. but very tasty. You're going to make it go round and round. Brilliant work. The next thing we're going to put in is some baking powder. Can you do this one for me? Yeah. I want you to get the little blue spoon and put this in. Ready? So we're putting four teaspoons of gluten-free baking powder in. Brilliant. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of xanthan gum, which is like the magic ingredient of gluten-free cooking. I want two xanthan gum now. And then we're going to add some sugar to that. So, use the red spoon. I would like this one, pink spoon. Four. So we're adding four tablespoons of sugar now. One. Two, three, four. Brilliant. And give it a stir. While she's doing that, I'm just going to get the eggs ready. I want you eggs. Oh, do you now? Okay, we'll get this knife here and you can give the eggs a bang for me. So we've got two eggs and then I've got five fluid ounces of natural yoghurt. Stop. So I'm just cracking the eggs into the yoghurt. And another one. Bang, 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 bang. Stop. There's my eggs. And then we're going to give those a stir. There we go. Well, you can stir in there. So I want you to cut the butter up for me. So we're going to cut that butter and make it really small. So then we get to the nice, fun, messy bit. That's it. Brilliant work. So cut up some more of the butter for me. So then all you need to do is rub your butter. Okay, so we rubbed in our butter and then we added some raisins in and we've made our dough, which is here. Literally just mixed it all together. Beautiful dough here. Now I'm just going to start rolling. We're going to roll, aren't we? I'm eating a raisin. You were eating a raisin? Mm. What are you? So now it's time to roll our dough out. Are you going to roll for me? Yeah. Excellent. I think you're having a problem, aren't you? Shall I help? And then you can do some cutting, maybe. As you can see, this dough, dead simple to roll out. You don't want to make these scones too thin. They will rise a little bit, but I want to make it fairly chunky dough. So then can you do me some round circles? So once you've cut them out, you just literally going to put them onto a greased baking tray. Wow. I'm just greasing my tray up. There it is. There it is. Let's get it out. We're making baby scones, aren't we? Yeah. Do some more for me. So these scones, once you've cut them out, you want to bake them at gas mark <laughs> for about 10 minutes and they'll be done. If you want them nice and glossy on the top, then brush them with a little bit of um, egg wash or a little bit of milk. And that's it really. So quick, simple, even a toddler can do it. Hope you really enjoy your scones. We'll show you the finished result in a minute. 